Hello, Brian Reed here with Firewalls.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up the email alerting option for your SonicWall logs as well as your alerts. Now, to begin, go ahead and log into the SonicWall admin console. Go to Log, Automation. Then, in the first box, you want to put in the email address of where you want to send the firewall logs to. Now, typically, the logs is going to consist of a lot of information that's not really information that you want to act on right away. Next, for the alerts, put in an email address of where you want to send the firewall alerts to. Alerts are typically the uh, mission critical things that happen. For example, the hardware failover kicks in or somebody changes a policy within the admin console of the firewall. Now one tip here is if you have two or more people who need to receive either the log or the alerts, you'll want to make sure that you set up an email distribution group because the Sonic Wall will only support the entry of one email address. So for our example here, we have support at firewalls.com. That's not just one email address that goes to several folks on the technical side of the company. So you want to keep that in mind. Next, you want to set how long or how often you want the logs to be sent to you. It can be daily, weekly, or when full. Depending you know, on your scenario and how much email you want to go through, you can select uh, daily if you want to kind of stay on top of the alerts and the log information that comes in. Or you can set it to weekly or whenever the buffer's full. That's entirely up to you. So whenever you set up the log option here, you'll have the ability to set the day and time of when you're going to receive it. So in our case here for this lab firewall, we like to receive them on a daily basis at one in the morning. That way when we first come in the morning, sit down, have our coffee, we can dig through the logs and see what happened throughout the night. Okay, you have another option to uh, select what format you want it in. You want it in the pretty HTML, easy to read format, or you can go with the plain text. Now for the mail server settings, this will vary really depending on what kind of email server you have, whether you have an internal hosted email server or an external. In this case, in reference to where our firewall is, our mail server is sitting out at our colo center. So for us, we just put in the external IP address of our mail server, which is www.firewalls.com. Or if you have, for example, an exchange server that's sitting on the inside of your network, you can give it the internal private IP address. Next, you want to put in there who the email will be coming from. Depending on how you set up your inbound rules, you can put in here like my firewall at mydomain.com and then you can set up uh, rules within your email client to automatically order those emails into different folders. However, which way you want to set that up. Next is the authentication mode. Depending, once again, on your mail server, it may or may not require you to authenticate to the server before the firewall can send the email outbound. Uh, typically, if you have an exchange server, you're going to have a policy in there that says allow any kind of email coming from this specific host. So in that case, you wouldn't have to put in any kind of authentication. Uh, but in our case, once again, our email server requires us to authenticate with a valid username and password before it can even have permission to send an email outbound through that server. Okay, we hope you found this uh, useful in, in setting up the log automation. In our advanced video, we go over the uh, different categories that are available for both logging and for alerting. And we'll give you some good recommendations on which ones you should really be looking for which ones should be logged only, which ones should be alerted, or which ones should be in both categories. Okay, if you have any questions or comments, please enter them in the section below. Have a great day.